What's up? Welcome. Welcome to Coffee Talk playing session on the Gloom Birdie channel here on Twitch. I'm Gloom Birdie. I am here to read the dialogue and to play the game and to act like a good, good boy. So that, uh, uh, you know, everybody likes, uh, a good boy, right? You know? Uh, so I'll be a good boy. If I wasn't a good boy, what would I do? Hmm, let me think. If I was not a good boy... I would not uphold statutes of equality, right? That wouldn't be a good boy. What else would, what would be? Oh, what would be not a good boy? I don't know. I'll come back around to it. I'll think of it while I'm playing the game, and then I'll I'll try to mention it in the end if I remember. Uh, another quick one would be uh, yeah, like if I set fire to things, I don't think that would be a good boy, right? If I was an arsonist. I don't think that would be good. Like if I was like that short story that most people read in college and in like an intro literature class to, or, or like a literature class for American literature, or like maybe they read it in like high school, you know, preparing them for college, you know, the, the barn burner, or the barn, what was it called? Where that, where that father was like, he would go around and like, he was an arsonist and he would just like burn people's barns. I think it was called barn burner or something like that. that, that that's not a good boy. Anyway, enough about good boys and not good boys. Um, I'm no barn burner. All right. So here we go. Welcome. Oh, she's looking rough again. Oh, man. Last session, she was looking rough. Hadn't been getting any sleep. That's cool what's done with the eyebrows. How they look like furrowed or like some great pixel art design right there. Good evening, Freya. Oh, hi. When was the last time you slept? I still sleep like a normal person, you know. I slept for six hours last night. No, I've slept for six hours this week. <laughs> That's not healthy. Get some rest, really. I can rest when it's done. That's stupid. Oh, shut up. So what's your plan now? Now, as in right at this moment, I'm planning to go to the bathroom and wash my face. I need to make sure I don't look like a dead woman walking. And after that, I'll continue writing. Freya? Oh, well. 
You know where the bathroom is. Okay, I need something to drink now. Freya, you're unemployed. Don't waste your money on a coffee on coffee shop drinks. That's so weird. Coming from the coffee shop owner. I know. You've been a regular for years. If you only need the vibes of the place, just right here. No, I can't do that. You don't have any customers tonight. What would I do if this place went bankrupt? It won't happen. How can you be so sure? Just take this tap water and go do your work, okay? But Gloomy's mansplaining. He's like, he's like, but he's he's looking out for her, her best interest in this case. You know, she's tired. She looks better now. She doesn't look as tired. She's kind of woken up. But see, there's a customer coming right now. So don't worry about me. What the? R Rachel? What's going on? Ha. What else? Your father? Of course. What the hell was he thinking? Coming backstage at Coachella just to get into an argument with my manager? Huh? Before we continue, Gloomy, a cafe latte, please. Your cafe latte is ready. Thanks. How did he manage to get backstage? Excuse me for a second. How did he manage to get backstage? He told security he was my father. And he messaged me about coming beforehand. Said he just was going to wish me luck. So I told them to let him in, of course. He's still my father. Things were nice at first. Then my manager came. And? Ugh. I don't know why he hates him so much. It's showbiz. I'm sure enough to know. I'm mature enough to know what's good or bad for me. What happened after that? Mr. Lester told the security guards to kick him out. He's still allowed in the festival area. I saw him in the crowd. Did the concert go well at least? Oh, yeah. Other than the arguments backstage, everything was great. I was the first one to play on the main stage. 
usually no one pays much attention to whoever's on first. Whoever's on first, but who's on second? Anyway, but there, there were thousands of people in the audience during my session. Nice. So you don't need to be at the event anymore after this. Not really. I did my stage time. And then there was the press conference after my show. After show press conference? Yeah, the pre-show was done yesterday. Today was a small one. There were almost a dozen journalists who wanted to interview me. So we decided to just do a mini conference. Good for you. You're totally back in the game, huh? I guess I am. Thanks to Mr. Lester. I would say it's because of you, but your manager's probably worked on some of his influence too. Ha ha ha. So why are you here? Ugh. Because of dad, of course. I told him to come here this evening. We really need to set things straight. He needs to stop messing with my manager so much. And because this evening is the only time we can meet, I can't go into the party Mr. Lester is hosting. What party? He's hosting a party for the VIPs and artists he manages at a club in Belltown. Is it okay for you to go to the party without a guardian? I'm 18, remember? I'm an adult. Yeah, but you can only enter the club if you're 21. Not this time. Because my, Mr. Lester's my manager. And it's his party. Hmm. I'm not sure about that. It's true. No, I know you can do that by using his name. I don't think he should do that to you. With you. I don't think he should do that with you. Why? I'm going to do no, you're not, Rachel. Have you ever been to one of Lester's parties? Well, no. You have? Not personally. I've heard stories. What stories? He knows how to party. That's good, then. Hmm, that's not necessarily a good thing. Knowing how to party might mean something else entirely. Er, I don't know what you're talking about. You'll find out especially if you keep Lester on as your manager. Personally, I don't mind wild parties, but inviting an underage person to his party? That might be a step too far. Welcome. <laughs> uh, what the hell? Oh, no. Dad. What? Rachel, is that Mr. Hendry? Yes. Dad! What happened? Gloomy, can you get a cup of milk for him, please? Just milk? Just milk. Thank you. Dad, please hold on. Can somebody help me call an ambulance, please? Ah. Okay, okay. Let me call them. Thank you. Where are they? On the way. Hang on, Pops. This is taking forever. There they are. Finally. We're going. Ooh, boy. That was really something, huh? 
Yeah. Two days in a row. An emergency at your place? Well, at least some people think of your place as they go as their go-to when they need help. You're right. It's not every day you look at things from the bright side. Ha. Well, I'm one of your coffee shop disciples, right? So I kind of understand that. I hope Hendry's all right. Me too. At least he's in good hands now. What's your plan for the rest of the night? Well, that was all pretty hectic. But I need to continue writing. Take your time and place, then. Will do. Sunday, October 4th, 2020. Police raid on private Couchella after party is biggest drug and sex related bust of the year. Fight broke out during Couchella, culprits in police custody. Despite the arrest, Couchella will go on. Okay, well, I'm going to call it here. Um, I'm about to have company. My brother is about to get home. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to have to, uh, entertain him. We're probably going to watch some kind of, uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll watch the, the Xbox documentary series. That's always a good one. It's always just, it's, it's always fun to see something brought up from nothing, you know? into existence and uh, I think that documentary does a really good job of conveying the hard work and ethic of, and, and everything that went into just that anyway one of my favorite documentaries gotta check it out it's on YouTube it's uh, available on Xbox through the movies and TV section um, it, it's worth watch. It's a worth watch. All right. Well, uh, take care. Have a great evening and, uh, game on, game on, game on.